Hey, Crow. Yeah, what's up, Steve? You've been doing a, uh, ogre load of these videos lately. Please don't make any puns on this video. Don't worry, Crow. You'll get ogre it. Steve, I'm begging you, please don't say any more puns. I think that kid's about to tell you to get out of a swamp. <sighs> Steve, if you make one more pun, I swear I will paint you all in pink. All right, all right. It's all ogre now. Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today is a pose video of the high grade Ogre GNX. Um, I really, really enjoyed this kit in the review. Um, I thought it was fantastic. So I definitely want to go ahead and showcase uh, at least a few more poses than what I've done in the review. And just kind of like show you what the range of, uh, you know, posability is with this kit. Um, so like always, we're going to do three poses and uh, just go ahead and showcase what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. Okay, and here he is. Uh, basically, what I was going to do is just kind of like a dual slashing uh, with both of the uh, the ogre uh, blades. So I, that's just kind of like the image I had in my mind. Um, I think it looks fine. Like this is actually um, more than likely the main pose I will go ahead and put him in. Um, it's only if I'm going to go ahead and commit uh, to putting a stand with them because uh, sometimes I just want to go ahead and keep as many stands as I can uh, for some other kits, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Uh, overall, though, um, it's a little, I'm not gonna say it's complicated, um, but sometimes, like, the parses don't want to, like, line up with, you know, on the swords and the, uh, the back of the hands. Um, I, it's just kind of me. It's not really, like, the, the kid's fault, but, um, overall, I think it's fine. Uh, you really have to play with the posability because, uh, the arms and the legs are gonna be very limited, but overall, it's really not, like, significantly bad. Uh, just make sure you work with it and, uh, You'll be able to accomplish as many good poses as you definitely uh, as you can, essentially. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. Okay, and here is the second pose. So, the way I kind of had this imagined is that he just like. I don't know, sprinted from the ground and just kind of like started destroying things uh, with the twin blades. Uh, almost ninja-like, in fact. Um, so that was kind of like the motive behind, you know, really getting the pose such as this. Uh, not just kind of like, to be honest, I'm kind of like throwing the effect parts in, in like so many different types of ways. Uh, but I just kind of like made it to where he's dashing like this and with the blades just kind of like, you know, backwards right behind him. I think I think this looks fine uh, overall. Um, just let me know what y'all think. Uh, obviously, if you're not gonna have all these effect parts, uh, maybe this wouldn't be the two go, uh, the, you know, the go-to pose uh, for you. But I like it. You know, even though he's a very very uh, hefty boy, um, he's still, I don't know, he has like ninja kind of qualities almost. Um, I don't know, that's just kind of like the way I thought of him. So that's kind of like the pose that I, I went ahead and just went with as far as the second one. So uh, let me know if y'all do like it or if y'all didn't. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below as well. So we do have one more and let's go ahead and get into the third and final pose.
All right, and here is the final pose. Uh, so this this definitely is a little underwhelming uh, of a pose. I do admit that. Um, but I just uh, in the in the review video, I already had it kind of like charging up with all the uh, the little bean spikes kind of just coming, you know, with the uh, through the shoulders, through the wrists. So I was like, let me try and see if I can do maybe like a charge shot, uh, you know, with the um, the spike fist. But I don't know. It's just like the legs don't spread wide enough, um, and the arms are just super, super limited. So uh, essentially, this is kind of like the best I can get, you know, with this pose. Um, still, overall, I don't think it's like terrible by any means. But uh, you could definitely do better with like maybe the uh, the shoulder ram or um, you know maybe just a different type of pose. Maybe just using the uh, the, the ogre blades uh, with the hands alongside the uh, the beam spikes. So it's kind of like up to you, but I just went ahead and went with this because I, I was going to have him kind of like, you know, about to throw a right fist uh, with his little beam spikes. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, you know, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe, especially if you enjoy these type of videos. Uh, but let's see, do we have enough time for maybe a, a bonus pose? No, God! No, God, please, no! No! No!